Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we are in EverQuest Project 1999 on Dory, and I am playing with a group of friends that you all know by now, hopefully. We have ZKP99. What's going on YouTube, ZK here. And what character are you on today? I'm on my 35 Enchanter of Valdeath, and we're here in the Dreadlands just kicking some butt. And uh, we also have AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode, and I am playing my cleric, he is level 33, hopefully by the end of this episode we might be level 34 where I get my new level spells, so. Absolutely, that would be amazing. And, um, we also have Locane Gaming. I may be the runt on the litter, but I'm still doing those deeps. We may have a giant ad. <laughs> I, I pulled the giant. Um, no, somebody else, somebody else pulled, oh. Uh, yeah. There's another monk out here. Uh, and we also have Chupa. Who... Uh, Chupa off comps. Yes. So so we are here in Dreadlands. We are at the um, at the wall, the safe wall here in uh, uh, right next to KC. And it's just the north wall. Killing the giants. So how yeah. You guys, not... How you guys what? like the experience? Well, we've only we've only been here about five minutes, but with that said, we did have something interesting drop. Yeah. Oh, yep. Uh, what was that that uh, that we just got? Uh, we had the um, first giant we killed was a forest loop. If anyone's watching on mine, you can see I linked it up. Three dex, three wisdom, three agility. Two AC. Pretty good. Yep. Some nice and those are currently sell for about selling for about four hundred plat or three hundred sometimes, depending on the buyer. So they're really great, you know, really great earrings. I used to use them all the time on the shaman. So until I get something better. Yeah, and um, it's you know it just uh, attribute that to a good puller and. Uh... <laughs> 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 uh, I think it just comes down to. We got lucky this time where oh, we yeah. killed these guys before in other zones for a long, long time and didn't get anything out of them. So I'm kind of happy that our luck is maybe changing a little bit here and there. So, Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me know when the haste is down. The haste, haste is, is down. down. <laughs> Have you guys ever gotten a forest loop in this zone before? Is that a, a common thing or is that kind of rare it, for this it, zone? It's pretty rare, man. Yeah, I've never seen one in this zone before. Oh. I might have got a spider ad. Let me go ahead and try to fade death. Oh, they're not social, so let's go ahead and um, get back so, up. What What are you looking to pull out there? Is just anything that you see, or are you only going after certain mobs? I'm trying to go through anything that isn't a caster, but, I mean, really, the casters have lower hit points, so they die a whole lot faster. So it, it shouldn't really matter what we actually pull as long as they're within our level range. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm almost uh, completely full on my power the whole time, so you're welcome to pull whatever you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from the yellows, <laughs> just because uh, I know they hurt a lot here. But um, yeah, the giants, these guys, um, these guys can range between uh, yellow and blue con. And you're talking about... Uh... At level 40, right? Yeah, at level 40. Right. Uh, yeah, because they're, they're conning blue to me right now at 33, at least the one you just pulled right here. Yeah, I, in this experience, um, like um, ZK was saying, actually, this is much better than the Yeti Caves. I've already gotten 7% into level. So. Wow, nice. that's at uh, level 40. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeez, that is nuts. Yeah, last time I played, I, was, uh, I got 30 to 40%. 30% to 40% at the Yeti Caves, and then now uh, I'm already 7%, so uh, maybe it's because we are at, in a group, and it just works better that way, or I don't know, but I'm, I'm liking it either way. I don't know. I always find it better to be in a group anyways. My cleric, you know, that's what your job is pretty much, is always going to be in a group, and you level so much quicker. Go to a dungeon... Like, if we were in KC right now, man, oh my god, the experience would be so much better. Yeah, but we would be dead. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, maybe another, like, you might be able to do it in about five, maybe six levels. No, I'd, I'd probably wait another 12 levels before I went in there, because 
as a tank you have to be able to take the mobs and they won't even let me touch those mobs until I'm at least 50 52 yeah if you're tanking it but you're also an off tank so if you have the damage you could always join as a you know a little bit of a somewhat dps kind of class if a group is really overpowered and they're they're doing really well that's true uh, uh, we're going to pull an even con here. Now, what about the rest of you guys? What are you thinking of this spot? Uh, are you doing damage to these mobs, or are they too high for you guys? I'm, I'm actually starting to slow these, man. That's because I got my new slow at 34, though, but I'm uh, just, I, it's just amazing that I can actually land slow on these yellows and reds and some... Oh. Things. Not good. <laughs> I should bring oh, one and try I one. Hit that thing? Wow. Okay, that was weird. What happened? Uh, I'm lagging really bad, apparently. Uh, because I see no mobs. Or I saw a mob that I pulled, and then it was running at me, and now it's disappeared. <laughs> so that's uh, not good. I'm going to go ahead and fade out just in case. And uh, yeah, I'm LD. I'm 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 decent. So yeah, it could be. It could be that you because uh, you're just saying that you had a big storm you're, over there. You're right dying yeah. right now. You're dying right now. Uh, am I? Have I run back to you guys yet? No, not yet. No. Oh, you're just you just uh, went gone. like dead. Okay. Don't Hopefully. Let me die. <laughs> Hopefully he went like dead. I know he's uh, he's out of the group, but do you guys know where he was at? Uh, I actually, I can tell you exactly where I was at. Um, if you see that little building to the right, that right. I, I'm right yeah. next to that. On the inside? Uh, no, I'm uh, I'm uh, out in the field a little bit. I see oh, it. yeah, I see your, your, yeah. Do you see my he corpse? Is, is that what dead. you tried to tell oh, me? Oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> hey, I'm in a hill level, so actually dying is not that bad. It just. Um... <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll give you a revive when you get back. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait until I get to thirty nine, and I can actually give you some experience back for that. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, queue, I guess, just because I can't see it. <laughs> Chupa, polar the, paw. Uh, yeah, polar paw. Either way, either I'm one of them. Chupa the job. When uh, when um, Cipher gets back, we need to roll on that black pearl. That's a gem. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he died out there. Lag, man, yeah. I tell you guys. Wow, they can uh, definitely mess you up. Well, what I did is I uh, I pulled it. I turned around, and I was going to do a Shadow Vortex just to hold aggro a little bit more. And I was like, wow, this is taking forever for this to land. And then I turn around, and I see the mob run at me and just disappear. And I was uh, okay. I know what's happening here. But... Um, that's exactly what I do is I, I strafe, I use my, uh, my bard strafing skills and, um, and just keep an eye out for what's around me. Usually the things that I worry about the most are the chickens because I know that they're going to go ahead and hit me or at least tag me faster than, uh, say the spiders or at least their aggro range is a whole lot bigger. So I end up, um, trying to stay away from them because they can actually hurt if you get too many of those guys on you. And I assume everything out there is already ready to attack, right? There's nothing that is uh, indifferent or dubious. Right. Yeah. Everything's going to attack you there. That's kind of interesting to know that the chickens have the biggest aggro range, considering chickens are usually considered, you know, you know the scaredy cats of, of everything. Yeah. And they, they kind of uh, shy away from people to give them such kind of, uh, you know, aggressiveness in this game. Is uh, kind of funny that they did that. The spiders, though, you said those were kind of tough as well. Um, they're not. They're not tough so much as they are casters, and um, I don't believe they can. They can do ice comet yet, but they can. They can hit you pretty hard. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you're out here soloing by yourself, you would probably stay away from the spiders and. Yeah. Oh, Lord the spiders Paul. can root too. Nice. Okay, I, I went ahead and con, uh, consented polar paw as I uh, mm, stare at these four. trolls. Hmm? Yeah, one day, guys. One day this will be an experience, Rez. <laughs> just one there. more. Yeah, just one more heck level to get through, 
yep. then it's easy sailing all the way to 39. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I want to get out of this hell of it. It just is beating me up. Actually, it's not. I'm lying. Um, because, um, I got a little bit of help, uh, from a friend of a friend and, um, got pretty far in and then the yeti caves did me well so i'm still there, i'm still 43 percent into level so I, I is there some. any any uh spell level that you're really looking forward to that's coming up here something some uh, really you know great spell that's gonna change your class for you know the foreseeable future like Fain death does for a shadow knight um not that i really know of i i I really just wait. I, to be honest, I don't even know if I have all my 39 spells. I just got whatever I could find. And um, and that's what I've been using. What about the ZK? You have any uh, new spells coming up here? What's that? You have any new uh, spells that you're really looking forward to? Like the next level of clarity or anything like that? Uh, the next level of clarity is level 54 and it's clarity too. And I can't wait to get that. Nice. That's going to be, yeah. It's, it's a long ways off, but I can't wait to get it. Because I love Clarity by itself, so you having a stronger version of that is going to be pretty amazing. Yeah, for sure. What about a new slow? Have you uh, recently got a new one? or? Yeah, I just got one at 34. And how much power is that taking away from you right now? Not that much. I mean, it's it's a lot less than a Shaman slow, that's for sure. Oh, okay, because I know when I get my new level heal spells, I'm always uh, super psyched to get them until the very first time I cast them, and then all of a sudden I lose like a bubble and a half or two bubbles for one heal, and I'm like, uh, maybe I won't use that one as often. It's kind of curious if that's the same way for your class or not. Yeah, it is for the shaman heal anyway, except for when you get torpor. So in the meantime, you got to do like minor shielding and stuff, and not minor shielding. Oh, your buff, your cleric buff. To, get, to actually heal them, it actually costs less mana, but it does the same heal amount of healing. Oh right, yeah. I haven't uh, I haven't quite played the game like that in a long time. You know, the lower levels you can kind of get away with that. At higher levels, it may be more efficient. It just doesn't heal enough. You know, to keep a, a tank alive when he's taking those hits. So I go with my greater healing for now. But what? What? How much time do you got left on your? Uh, your revive sickness on that one um i can't tell because it oh, took yeah, the they revive took the timers timers up, out. Yeah. i think it's five <laughs> minutes right you gotta you got five minutes for it to to come all the way back if i remember correctly i think so i, I mean my agility is already at 46 but that may just be because of my gear uh, i think it's because your gear you got some really nice stuff on right now <laughs> oh that's right you're not yeah, yeah, some... sorry man let's see Vortex. There you go, get everybody buffed back up. Let me put some yeah. strength on it as well. Alright, so, um, Monk wanna pull? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're more than welcome to. Let me make sure uh, you got, uh, you got cleric buffs on, man? Ah, uh, man. Gotta show that off in front of us, eh? Showing off your uh, J boots, I swear. No respect. <laughs> we could start doing no. that though, right? As soon as we hit level thirty-five, we could go over there and, and try to get J boots for everybody. Yeah. It's just a long spawn. Well, I mean, if we do it over uh, in the sisters uh, or the islands or whatever, then yeah, that's that's just one spawn. But if you do it over there in the desert, uh, you get what, like four or five? Um, I really don't know. To be honest, I've never, um, I've never done, uh, soul ro or a south row, uh, as far as camping that, uh, mob. I invited, uh, invited Cypher. I don't oh, know if oh, you got yeah. to. Sorry. Ah, that's all right. Got you in before the kill. <laughs> is this, is he really trying to hit me or are you doing Did a lot someone of damage? Root him? No, I didn't. No. Yeah, I and just, uh, my stats ahead. are just down right now. This is why. <laughs> what are you using as a weapon, by the way? I'm using the knock blade, and then I also have um, the Zealot's Incarnadin uh, sword. 
whenever I want to go two-handed. Jeez, the knock flee. Yeah, even with your stats down, I'm sure you're dealing you're dealing some serious damage there. <laughs> just, just okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bad build death. <laughs> oh, he's Bad dead. build death. Bad. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people over here. I've definitely seen this area completely taken up by a bar just pulling everything under the sun. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of nice that it's not so busy tonight that we can't do this. I actually have a friend who's coming this way. I don't know if he wants to join or not, but uh, he's a 42 shaman. He might be a little too high, though. Uh, I don't know. If he can join, he's more than welcome to. 33? I think he should still be able to get experience with a 33. Or I should be able I'm to get 29. experience with Oh, you're 29? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the math is on that one. Probably too low. But, guys, the reason we're over here in this zone is... Well, it's two parts. One, we haven't been here before, and we kind of wanted to show it off. And two, everything else was pretty much taken tonight. Soleil had uh, a couple high-level people running in there pretty much killing everything. Not really sure what they were doing. Do you guys have an idea? They were uh, farming the they were farming the ore the ore sells for, for the bricks and the ore in the blocks and stuff they were they sell for fifty plat a piece and ten plat a piece so that's what they were doing they were just sitting there farming those those bricks and the ores and stuff so that and they would sell them to the vendors afterwards. What level? Uh, okay. What, what level were they? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, if they're forty, is then they're doing the gnomes. Um, the gnomes are actually good to forty two or forty four, I think. And then uh, some people actually go there to get the ore because it's required for ornate armor. Right. And then, of course, we tried Soul B right at the entrance. Unfortunately, the mobs are pretty much all red to us. In fact, they were even the ZK, and he's one of the highest level ones here. So that kind of gives you an idea of what level range they are right there at the entrance. And you guys were having uh, some issues because you said if you pull one, you're going to pull like four or five that comes with them, right? Yeah, and some of, and they see through invis and they are casters and so will be. So you gotta you gotta watch it. They will re they will heal. Right. So if we and had they, a... uh, and they will nuke and they and they are there are some of the shamans that are cast their pets as well. So you gotta keep yeah. that in mind. So if we had somebody clearing the area out for us, we would be able to keep it clear probably. But just uh, breaking that area was too tough, right? Yeah. Well, if you go to if you go into Soul A and then go into the window room from there. Uh, that's probably the best way to go or the best place to start uh, at these levels. Yeah, we could have tried that. That's really a long run through Soleil, though, I think, right? Yeah. It's just a pain in the ass to get to sometimes. <laughs> right. And then, of course, we thought about maybe Kazik or, uh, you know, High Keep, but, you know, Kazik is something we've been showing off quite a bit, so we kind of, you know, ruled that out. And then High Keep, like always, is pretty much camped. Although last night, it was kind of interesting. I logged on and. There were six or seven people in the zone. Every single one of them happened to be evil, and every single one of them happened to be killing guards. And the the goblins downstairs were completely and totally uncamped. So yeah. it's just weird to see that many people there not camping the goblins. I've never seen that before. Yeah, but, I, yeah. I went in there yesterday, actually, and I uh, was going to see if I could um either duo uh the raiders with malik dory or just see if i could farm some ears and there was a level 50 in there just farming the ears down at the goblins so they already had uh the same idea right so nobody was on nobody was, I, I think there was two monks in the zone actually doing the guards and everything else was open the nobles the bards were open so yeah. See, our good gu guards get killed all the time. I kind of want to go to the Dark Elf City and kill those guards for a little while. I don't know about that. Because <laughs> they draw fine steel, too. And they're supposed to be around our level. I've seen every time I go through there with my Shadow Knight, there's always a, a group of people there, two or three people right at the entrance, killing guards uh, separate from each other. So it has to be good experience. It has to be good money, at least. I don't know. I know Daylon 75 Games is killing the... the the troll and ogre guards recently i wonder how the experience was over there yeah me and uh, cypher were just talking about that a little while ago he's a little too high level he was saying on that video he's just you know just slightly out of range for him to get uh, you know the experience that the other guy was talking about right yeah i think um i think my wizard was doing ogok at level 40 um 
but he was grouped with three others who were a little bit higher than him. So was he doing the damage, or were the other guys doing the damage? Like, is level uh, I was, I was doing the, I was doing the kills. I was getting the kill uh, kill shot, but I wasn't doing most of the damage. Oh, okay. So even at level forty, you can hit those mobs. What were they conning? Do you remember if they were like yellow or even, or? Or they're blue, uh, but they have a lot of hit points. Do you think you could have soloed there by yourself if it had taken a long time, or you wouldn't have been able to get through one mob? Um, it'd probably take half or almost all my mana to kill one or two. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, if you're soloing, that's kind of what you have to deal with. If you go and get clarity, that helps you out, definitely, but, uh... Does anybody really do that? Does anybody go to the commons to, you know, pay a whole bunch of money for clarity and then run wherever they need to, or gate back yeah. to wherever they need to? Yeah. Okay. Just, just like so, man. Well, I see people asking for that all the time, just out of convenience, but... I see, no. I see, I see people spamming the tunnel for clarity all the time, and then when they go doing what they're gonna do, maybe they're on a corpse run or something. Maybe they need to root something and then run, get out of there, or right. whatever, whatever the case may be. Yeah, I just remember my brother playing a druid back in the day, and when he'd find a good spot where he could solo in, the first thing he would do is bind himself somewhere nearby, go over to like the plane of knowledge or someplace else that's uh, really heavily, heavily populated, look for a clarity, and then go back to soloing until it ran out. You know, get that uh, C2 going. Really helped him, uh, you know, keep those pools. Instead of having to sit down and med, he can kind of just walk around or run around and just snare the target until it dies. So, I click just... Click off your haste. Click off your haste, guys. I'm going to refresh it. Don't now, is this a new haste, uh, or is it uh, one of the same ones? It's one of the same ones. It just doesn't... One doesn't stack with the other. Oh, okay. And does your haste, uh, do you know, does it stack with everything, including items, or... It does, it does. So if I have an FBSS on my monk, it'll stack with, with the Enchanter haste. And nice. I'll stuck with, that is uh, that is absolutely with fantastic. The bard haste as well. Yeah. Wow, really? So what is what's the highest haste you've ever heard of any player getting, given the fact that they could have everything at once? Well, I don't know. Some some haste like you can't have two haste items on, but I think um. Uh, in in live i don't know about here it actually shows you your percentage and um it goes up to like 210 percent haste it's like crazy so here <laughs> i'm guessing it's about a hundred and um i think it's 125 or 150 something like that Jeez, and that's if you had everything bar haste enchanter and the best item on the server for haste as well right yeah yeah yeah, so uh, chances are you're not going to get anywhere close to that number, guys. The the best items that have haste <laughs> on them are either super expensive or incredibly hard to get because there's no trade or, or things of that sort. So that's not going to be easy. And then, of course, having a bard in your group and an enchanter, that's like raid style right there. You're probably not going to really ever get that otherwise. Yeah. All right. And, and, avatar, and Shaman's Cast Avatar on top of that, you'll be good. Yeah. Jeez. You'll be good to go. Do you guys do that for your... Awesome. We do that for our rogues, to cast Avatar on our rogues. Yeah, I was going to say, and the monks too, maybe, right? Or no? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, m some, most of our monks are... Uh, most of our main monks already have a couple primals anyway. I was going to say, got primals a, will give yeah, you that Avatar. Got a, <laughs> yeah, if a primal is pro proc Avatar anyway, so... Did you ever uh, watch the video where uh, Sirkin was talking about that and how some of the guild stuff was going on and what they might do about that no i didn't see that one yet that was the one with chest oh boy <laughs> and i remember your reaction on that one so i was like i don't know if he's watched this one <laughs> they had some they had some interesting ideas i didn't get through the whole thing because his episodes are really long so i usually watch you know a little bit on the way to work a little bit on the way home and over the course of several days i'll get through the entire thing but it was uh it was kind of interesting to hear his like he doesn't sound like he really wants to punish anybody because that's just not like the type of person he is, but he realizes that he probably should do something about it. So yeah. it's, it's it's a hard place for him to be. I know Superman Bits and Bob was actually talking about this on one of his earlier videos uh, this week, where he's like, they should be banned. And he's not one of the people who throws out the ban hammer very often either, but he's like, you know, the fact that these people have done it again and again and again, uh, I kind of agree with them. You know, when you... When you do things that are against, um, like for this game, I, I think that this game more than anything is a game built on community. 
if you play like um, you know a Black Ops or uh, you know some of the first person shooters that are out there that really all about trolling then I can understand having those people on there and not kicking them off but on a game built about community that they constantly stub their nose at the community and, and do everything they can do to kind of tick that community off it seems at some point you just might want to ban those people to get them out of there and and uh, get rid of the headaches they cause for you so yeah right I can go ahead I was gonna say that you know that I, I did see that super bits and bobs recent video and you know I was agreeing on most of the stuff that he was saying you know so but you know, I think I think Serkin's even going to do something with the sleep rate. It's just it's you know it's a lot of pressure right now. You got a you got a lot of the raid stuff going on. You got a lot of other stuff going on at the same time. You know, so he'll get around to it eventually. Oh yeah, there's there's no rush on it. We're just kind of talking about it because it is, you know, like big news for the server. You know, if you had like a a newspaper that came out for Norath News or something, which actually kind of sounds cool <laughs> if somebody ever did that. You know, like a weekly <laughs> thing. Yeah, uh, made, made, made a guilt. What if somebody made a guilt about that? That'd be hilarious. Yeah, it'd be funny if you could actually hand out papers or something with like the information of the day on there. Pretty yeah. much the only way you could do that is if you're a GM, you could come out with like that little opening day message or something that everybody gets when they first log on. But or just have some uh, have the that guild have a person in every zone and do a hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> this is what's happened today. <laughs> You could do that, or you could have somebody parked at a certain spot and then change their bio, so people would just run up to them and inspect them. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool, too. Yeah, and just, like, read the newspaper that day or something, but I don't know. It's it's interesting ideas, but, the, yeah, this is just something that's going on on the server right now, and people are tossing ideas back and forth, and, you know, the, the people who weren't there are just um, kind of reacting to what they've been told, and I wasn't there. I didn't get to see it myself, but several of the higher-up people who are kind of, like, in the the no and the, you know the, it affects them on a daily basis because zk here you actually do a whole lot of rating right i do i mean you guys just took uh you know some mobs down to dano you don't have to say which ones because you know timers and things of that sort but yeah you guys took down several mobs and you know got some pretty good loot and you guys do that on a pretty weekly basis i mean you guys are always yep. after stuff so yeah, that's going to affect your guild. It's going to affect a lot of the other ones up there and just kind of sucks that they really did that to you guys. For sure, man. But yeah, I think I think uh, Sirkin got your back as well as the other GMs. And at some point, whether it's for a holiday or something, maybe that's how they can justify it, you know, and do it for like a Christmas thing and be like, well, since you guys have been good little boys this year, <laughs> we'll go ahead and reset the sleeper. Because it's been a few months. They got their, their jollies. They got their laughs and... Now we'll reset it for everybody else who's actually still here, you know? I don't know. Do yeah. you remember what happened this last uh, Christmas? <laughs> what they did for us? <laughs> no, what did, what did they do to you guys? Um, well, they gave us a, a GM event that was not completable oh, by most oh, yeah, people. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that supports you all over the place? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, made you that die like so five or six yeah. times. And, uh, it was, I mean, it, was, yeah. it gave us something those, to those, do for hours. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Those canine, those a canine is for a quest in free and a Y. We should split the tooths up. They're no trade. Okay. Uh, you know what the quest is? Is it for an item that you can sell or? I don't know. Faction. Faction. Okay. Well, if anybody needs faction over there, definitely uh, go ahead and pick it up. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm a dark elf, and, and you know, Chup is a Ixar, and Cipher's a, a dark elf shadow knight, so. I don't Chip know. Is not a XR. He's a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pickles. So, what do you guys think of the experience here so far? I mean, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I've in, gotten... a, I'm in a hell level, so I mean, it's going, it's going by slow. So I've yeah. only gotten half a bubble, but I'm 33, so I'm one of the lowest people in the group. So the experience I'm getting is equal to that. So you guys are probably getting a little bit better, but. You know, I'm still happy with it. This is still pretty good experience for me. Plus, yep. it's extremely safe. We're pulling water at a time, and if we get over ran just in case we need to, we can zone into Carnor's Castle. Yep. Yeah, I ran by Carnor's Castle when I was in like my 29s or something, and yeah, that does make a big difference being just four or five levels away. But they like one shot at me, so that's not really a viable option for me unless you guys are in front. So, well, yeah, I'm just saying. I think uh, I think if you guys are ready, I'm gonna go ahead and um, um, finish up here. Yeah, go for it, man. It's All right, guys, thank you so much. It... I'm sorry. 
I said I was I was gonna say it's hamburgers and pickles time. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Cipher Deck, and um, again, please go ahead and check out ZKP99. He does a lot of uh, the upper end raid stuff, as well as he comes out and hangs out with us whenever he can. Yeah, for sure. Uh, my channel, my, I, I do. I try to upload a weekly raid once per once per week, and a group video as well. So come check my channel out. I Absolutely. Love it. And AC Gamer, he plays everything. <laughs> so definitely check him out. I'm pretty sure that you'll find something that you'll uh, you'll you'll want to watch of his. I watch at least three or four of his series. So definitely uh, definitely check him out too. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. And guys, I just want to thank you all again for coming and hanging out with us. And uh, Locane Gaming as well. He uh, he posts at least two or three, if not more, videos a week. I've been uh, keeping up with his as well. Yep. And Street Fighter Five is coming within the next 24 hours. I guarantee it. <laughs> so... And as well, thank you again, Chupa, for helping us get over here and then also pulling for us after my death. Um, it's always awesome of you, uh, everything that you do for us. Also, before we end the video, Suffer, I want to make, I, I wanted to ask you, when you, uh, when you got your death, how much of, have you gained your experience back that you lost or do you, uh, uh... I'm almost there. I, um, I'm back up to 45% now. Oh, that's cool. Yep. That's a good mob to end it off on too, because he's super freaking red and he's just beating <laughs> yeah. you down right yeah. there. Yeah, I even slowed him. I even slowed him, and he was still kicking our butts. Yeah, he's even to me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Cypher Day. Peace out. <laughs>